Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and uh, this is the first video I've ever made on this. It's called Pointalizer, and I have really never played with it. I just started playing with it today. So you and you could use any shape you want. So we go to you go to effects and go down to Pointalizer. Now I do not know when it started, so I apologize for that. Uh, I don't have any old corrals left around to find out, but you could have any shape you wanted. I'm going to pick a heart, and it's real. I'll show you how to um, put that shape in there. But then you you're going to type out, and you want some bold text, you know, something like I've got impact here. I'm going to put density of two, uh, scale one, I, and I've just started playing around. And you could angle it. You can see the hearts are a little bit of an angle. Uh, limit color, I don't quite understand, but you do want to have this checked when you're playing with this. Keep a regional source. There's a whole bunch of different kind of uh, settings here of tracking or methods. So what we're going to do with this selected, it's going to use this one and just hit apply. And look at that. Now we're going to change it up here. We're going to go, let's go two or three this time. And it completely changed the size of the hearts. Um, let's go uh, back to one. Or maybe I had two the first time. I mean, look at that. It's not as readable, you know, because they're over, um, kind of over the limit. But that is definitely the word love. And, and that is too. Uh, you can change a lot. And that's why I say keep the original. Have that checked. Uh Limit colors, I don't, I haven't quite understood that, but there's all kinds of uniform uh, size. You know, just you're just gonna have to play around with it. Then once again, you can't really read that because I've got one. Let's make it two and see if it's any different. No, uh, on that particular one, you can't really uh, tell what it is. So let's back up here and get none. Let's uh. You know, let's go to uh, size this one. And, you know, that pretty cool. It, what it did, it changes some heart sizes. There's some small and there's some big ones. You know, and you pretty much want to have your text the color that you want your heart. I don't think this matters. So you could use any symbol or any graphic, I think. So we're just going to go and just change it and make a we're gonna make a star. And I'm gonna go ahead and fill it in. I'm gonna go ahead and take away the outline. So if you want something in there, all you have to do is go right here, have it selected, go to custom. Well, maybe you have to non-select it and go to custom and then select it. Well, you can see I've only done this one. Let's, let's select. Let's select it this time. Well, there I'm getting an arrow. There we go. It was giving me like a little fill cup. So now I've got that. So now if we click on our love, it's gonna turn it into stars. Uh, let's change this to uh, the very first one. No, I don't. Yeah, that's the first one. And you can see I just started playing around with this. But this way, instead of hearts, you've got stars, and they're they're changed. I don't. I'm a little confused. Let's try this one here. See what it does. Yeah, see that one. It even faded in some um, offsets, or you know, like almost some of them are transparent. Let's just do this, see what it looks like. Fill it in with yellow, go to object, order back a page. And you can see it's almost got some white stars because they're transparent. That's pretty cool. Uh, you know, like I always said, a lot of times I wish uh, I was a printer because I would love to play around with this. So you can do different, you know, different things. For some reason, I was thinking there were four of these earlier. Maybe I was just reading that one. And, you know, if you had really big um, fonts, 
Of course, this is pretty big. This is, you know, 20 inches long. Uh, you could do a lot, lot with this. And, you know, you could go too far with this and, you know, put this up to 10, which is, I think, is default. And it just, and it takes a little time for the, uh, for, for Corel to do, at least it does on my old laptop. One thing I like about it, you can, you know, if you take it too long, you can hit escape to cancel. Let's just hold on just a second and see what it looks like. Like I said, I just got through playing with it starting today. And, um, I can see this for a laser engraver and making them black and, uh, you know, just on some, or text or any shape. Um, pretty cool. Anyway, so go to effects, point analyzer. Now, if you do not have it, I apologize. I don't know what, I don't know what version of Corelli came out in. Hope that helped. Thank you for watching.